include two main things. One is shooting you, and the other one is pulling the gun. Maybe not shooting you. Uh, not all, all people who have guns are ready to shoot you. But sometimes they will shoot as a reflex, as a, a basic reaction. So overall, please remember, there is the line of fire, and the line of fire when may change. The position may change. The distance may change. If you do not cooperate quickly, maybe something else will change. Wow, who knows what will happen in reality? Question about the problem. Uh, in the US, there are more and more situations of robberies with guns. Yes? Uh, Luckily, there are not many situations, because I'm sure that at least Shihan has checked you a little bit, probably you, you are not members of, of some gangs, <laughs> yes? No. So, probably nobody wants to execute you. Yes. But the, the situation of bang like this can also be, meaning we should do the solution, the technique, as soon as we can, whenever it's needed, as soon as, as, soon as I can. That's, that's the, the key, that's the formula. Okay. So, he has a gun run towards me somehow. <coughs> that's the solution. One more time. <coughs> so, what is happening? What are we doing? We're doing something very, very simple. We are bringing the hand in the closest manner, in the shortest distance, to deflect the gun. So the thumb is going under the middle of the, the thumb under the barrel, as soon as it's close, uh, closest to him. This motion by itself, only this motion, only the rotation, when the hand is here, should do 100% defense. And now, while this is happening, also the body defense is also happening. Do you remember we did inside defense like this and we moved to about 45 degrees of the counter attack? The same. So from here, defend, push away, move the angle forward, strike. That's the initial thing. Look again. The hand defense, the body defense, you start with the hand. Why we start with the hand? So we don't start with the body. Because this is telegraphing too much the intentions and we create this for this reaction. So start with the hand. Continue mentally with the body, of course. Deflect the line of fire. Rotate as much as possible this. Now this will not happen, usually. It will not happen, unless it's very weak. Hold a bit stronger. Yeah, I cannot turn. I cannot turn the gun <coughs> like this. What I can do is deflect it a little bit. Move deep, punch. Maybe now I can return, maybe. I, I cannot return, turn. Yes. So as soon as I can, punch, then take the gun down for this army. One more time. Hand defense, body defense, move the gun away, punch, take the gun down for this army. I cannot really take the gun down, as you see. Only if I turn the gun like this, then the gun can go down. Only if it's pointing sideways. So just to understand. Punch, gun down, directed sideways. So if it's directed sideways, you can take it down. If it's not directed sideways, you cannot take it down. Look at one thing that is important. Remember I said that his reaction may be pulling the gun. What is that for? Which means if the gun was pulled, the gun will come to the side of the body. So there's a whole channel that I want to clear. Point again. <coughs> And I am going now very much away from this channel. So you see where I am now? In the blue side. I was in the green side. I've got this line. I'm inside the line. And when I'm doing that thing, I move in and I'm outside the line here. My best place is to be behind the gun. Where am I? This one, behind the gun. Who knows where the gun will be? The gun may stay there. The gun may be down. Maybe the here, maybe here, maybe there. Who knows? It depends on him, not only on me, on both of us. Yes, it, mainly on him, not on me. So much. It depends what his reaction is, 
how he's acting with bullying or shooting, and also, of course, my party. Is that clear? Any questions? Okay, last time, uh, and then we start acting. The hand defense, the body defense, thumb is down, fingers are up. Deflecting, moving diagonally forward, punching, trying to start to take the gun down, and I came to about 45 degrees. Nothing stays here, because if the moment there's a leg in, inside the channel, if he was pulling, I have a problem. If he was pulling and I'm here, bang, it's much, much better. Where is the gun at this moment? Touching his body. Why? Because he pulled, not because I pulled. Questions? Okay. So, we will do slowly, dry drills, and then we do the button on the gun. Please understand how it is the technique to get the fastest way out of the car. Now, a car itself can be a great tool for protection and also great attack. Imagine to run somebody over with a car. It's an excellent attack. <laughs> <laughs> However, sometimes staying in the car will be a very good solution. Sometimes you cannot stay in the car and you would have to go out to function as needed. So to get out from the car is something that I would like to teach you. Imagine you have a seat belt on you Hands on the wheel if you're the driver or another person, that's really matter. What to do? With one hand, with the thumb and the fingers, you are going to the last portion of the belt and you press the button. At the same time, you insert the other hand between the belt and the body, doing that. And like this, you have freed yourself. Then one hand will go to the door, pull, or however you want to pull this, and push with the elbow so you're opening the door very, very fast. That is the way of opening and getting out from the car the fastest way. I will try to demonstrate. If you can get a bit closer, don't disturb each other. Yes. And we will try to do as much as possible. So. <coughs> bless you, bless you. Okay, so, wherever my hands are, they are going to two locations. One, to the lower part of the belt and slide down. The other hand will go between my body and the belt. One. That's it. Now, I'm free. Anything else is slower. Or will get me entangled, you know, like this time. At the, at the earliest possible, I do like this, this motion. Now it's difficult to see, but what I'm doing is I'm going to the place of the handle to open the door, and with the other hand, I'm, so I'm opening and, pull, and pushing, a little bit. Opening, pushing. So, first motion was that. Second motion is this, to get out from the car this way. So one leg is back still in the car, the other leg is outside, sort of an outward stance almost, and like this I move out from the car. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Good. Now what we will do, we will do something very simple. Where is the pool? You have one of you has a pad? You are holding a pad? Yes, okay. So the situation will be like this. The partner will be holding a pad for two people and you can work the pad can be in different locations, especially if it can be in locations so two cars will work with us on the same pad. And the one who touches the car, the, the, the pad first, the one who hits the pad first, is the winner. Mm -hmm. So we are making competition on this. Get as fast as you can and hit as early as you can to be first. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's it. Now, of course, if he's there, driving backwards and bypassing and going around can be an excellent solution. On the other hand, to ram the other car can be also very good.